Big 12 title game in the books. Baylor, Oklahoma in Arlington, just outside of Dallas. Baylor coming in their first Big 12 championship appearance. There's Boomer Sooner. Back after uh, the crash in week seven, they're looking for their fifth straight Big 12 title. Jalen Hurts and company got it going early. Mid first, Hurts mm. to C.D. Lamb. He didn't play in the first meeting between the two, but showing dividends here, B-Mac. Yeah, he made an early mark early in this ball game. I mean, his ability to make defenders miss. He's a very, very slippery runner. Got it all the way inside the 10. And then a couple of plays later, Oklahoma caps it. Kennedy Brooks, six yards out. OU up 7-0 early. And you're thinking, here we go. Points, points, points. But surprising defense. Some hard hitting here in the Big 12. Charlie Brewer, the quarterback for Baylor, mm. getting sort of grabbed there by Kenneth Murray. Uh, he'd be a little wobbly. Now, he stayed in the game for a, a while. You can tell something is off. And yeah, that would be the case. Something was off with Jalen Hurts, too, at this point in time. Mistakes. Gets hurt. Uh, well, gets hit anyway. Loose. Yeah. Uh, this is Jalen Hurts' sixth lost fumble of the season. Following drive. You mentioned that Brewer doesn't look good. It's not quite the same sort of short hopping it. They only come up with a field goal. And you think in the beginning, well, maybe the young man just didn't sort of have it today. His coach sort of giving him the business a little bit. But you could see that after that hit, he was not the same. Mm -hmm. uh, Jalen Hurts, we had the fumble. Now he decides he's going to be in the giving mood so close to Christmas with a uh, another gift. The interception, Jordan Williams brings back to the OU 23-yard line. Now, you think, okay, here comes Brewer. He's going to come out. Yeah. Get, but no, the refs look at him and say to the coach, Matt Rule, get him out of here. He's not right. Yeah. He would not come back concussion. So Jerry Bohannon would come in. Big kid, running quarterback. But on this one. Third and 20, by the way. Yeah, this is not the best. I mean, you're, I cover your eyes. You're a secondary player. You played third in the NFL, and 20. That's not the best. With the I backup mean, quarterback. I, I saw you start massaging your temple slowly yeah, after that. You were not pleased. That's bad football in the back. Yeah, we're tied up at 10. Then, Jalen Hurts. Finding Nick Basquin. Nice back shoulder. 18-yard touchdown grab. Sooners up 2013. You go, here we go, right? They're gonna, they're gonna do their thing. They go to a true freshman, Jacob Zeno, because the second stringer ineffectual. We're now in, you know, in the fourth quarter, less than 10 minutes to go. You got a 10-point lead, mm. and you're giving up an 81-yard 81 81 touchdown. To the third string quarterback. Justin Ebner. I mean, that's how you know Oklahoma's D's not any good. You saw it, I agree. right? I, get, you got any excuse for this? Play. Big play. Here go another one, EK. Yeah, remember, this is the fourth quarter. There's less than six minutes to go. Sikkim Bears, <laughs> if he runs it in, that's probably it. Yeah, probably. But no, they can only get a field goal, so we're heading to overtime. Second overtime in the Big 12 championship history. Here we go. Ramondre Stevenson, first possession. Touchdown, OU up seven. Remember, they lost the coin flip, so they had to go first. So they get the touchdown. So now Baylor has to score. But the nope. defense finally shows up. They put some pressure on as opposed to backing off and letting people run free. And OU, there you go. Fourth and 20. More pressure. More not going to do it. Yep, there you go. Oklahoma wins in overtime. BMAC, mm. fifth straight Big 12 title. That's very impressive, but they were Down not base. impressive in this game. Defensively, no. C.D. Lamb, most outstanding player. Uh, not bad for a guy who didn't play in the first meeting between the two teams. Both teams, you know, came in hoping for a chance to get in this thing uh, in the college football playoff. Baylor now, they're eliminated effectively. Oklahoma, we shall wait and see. Baylor does cover the spread. They were getting nine and a half. The under comes in, and I know a lot of folks with those under tickets got nervous because once you get to overtime, you have no idea what could possibly happen. Yeah. But there you go. Oklahoma, your Big 12 champ for the fifth straight year. Um, are you impressed with Oklahoma? No. Not at all. Not at all. It, you know what? It, it feels like the better team lost today in, in the Baylor Bears because they, they fought. They were down to their third string quarterback defensively. They forced timely turnovers like they did their first meeting. They just didn't have the help from their offensive end. But 
tip your hat to Oklahoma. They made plays when they needed to in critical moments, but it just feels like the better team didn't win today. Jalen Hurts didn't look right. He's been to sloppy me. with he didn't the look football. Right to me. Now sloppy been, with the football, inaccurate, and even when he ran, it wasn't the lightning burst. It's not like we haven't seen this kid enough yeah. from Alabama, you know, a couple of years there. Now at Oklahoma. This is a kid that I've watched play a lot. Did not feel like he had that same burst. We sort of all looked at each other at one point in time and went, is he all right? Like kind of looking, you know, you look different angles. Like you think you can see yeah. something else if you move your head at the screen. Yeah. But it, it's all the same. He I, looked okay, just, just didn't have that burst. I, I think you. we have to give a lot of credit to Baylor's defense because for the second straight meeting, they found a way to neutralize and create turnovers from Jalen Hurts in the Oklahoma offense. And today, he ran the football 23 times. Right, only 38 yards, and then throwing the football 17 to 24, 287, interception, one touchdown. So Baylor has done a nice job in understanding and knowing how to be successful against Oklahoma's offense with C.D. Lamb involved and creating turnovers. What I saw today, E.K., they're very, very effective in putting pressure on Jalen Hurst with three men rushing the passer. Usually that's not an advantage in favor of the defensive group, but the defensive line, they ran stunts, they ran games, and they were able to get back there, and Jalen Hurts just became a bit antsy with the football. Is Oklahoma's defense fixable on the fly? No, okay, no, yeah. they are who they are. Yeah. It, was <laughs> not, it was not, it was not yeah. pretty. There's no two ways about it. It was not a particularly... They gave up too many big plays. I mean, they, they allowed 23 points. For Oklahoma, that's a good sign. That's a plus. But the splash plays, and what I mean when I say splash plays, a play that's 25 or longer. You can't afford to give up 70-yard passes, 80-yard passes. To third-string quarterbacks yes. in the fourth quarter when you have a lead and you know they have to throw because you're up 10. And that's why I said what I said earlier. It feels like the better team did not win this ball game because if Charlie Brewer was in this ball game from start to finish, seeing the success that the second-string quarterback had, seeing success the, the success that the third-string had, one would think Brewer would get things going. I, right? I can't disagree with you. And it felt like, again, Lincoln Riley, the Oklahoma head coach, did not trust Jalen Hurts in big spots. I remember one time it was where it was third and goal from the eight, and it was just a design quarterback run. And just he'll, he took the three points. And at that point in time, that was a game where it was tied, and that was still in the third quarter. It was like, I'm, you're not going to make mm -hmm. a mistake on me after he and made it, those two early ones, one with the fumble, one with the pick. He really didn't let Jalen Hurts, you know, sort of be the guy that was the game was going to come down to him. He sort of made sure it was going to come down to the run game and try to play a little defense. Yeah.